basement where I feel like things are drawing to a close nicely and we're right back in contemporary uh, Britain now. Um, my name is Annie Ratzberg and I work here at the University of Oxford um, on a project on contemporary theatre and how it represents mental disorder. Now, you've already been introduced right here to the struggling doctors and the dilemma they might be facing when having to provide mental health care. When Joe Pennell wrote Blue Orange in the year 2000, he focused on mental disorder and mental health care in particular. The result, as you will see, is a fast-paced and multifaceted issue-conscious mental health play. The action takes place over 24 hours in a psychiatric ward in contemporary London and revolves around two doctors. The younger, Bruce, a registrar, who is eager to climb the career ladder, and Robert, a senior consultant psychiatrist, and his superior, who have to decide on the course of action for the further treatment of Christopher, a young man from Shepherd's Bush, whose 28-day assessment period at the hospital has come to an end. The questions of the play include, is Christopher schizophrenic? Or more correctly, and more in line with the terminology we use now, does he have borderline personality disorder and might need longer term treatment and sectioning? Or has he had a psychotic episode and is fine after having been treated and can be released into care in the community? Now the play was not called Issue Conscious for no reason. While trying to answer those questions I just posed, the issues that surface in the play include institutional racism and prejudice represented by the older doctor, Robert, who believes that there is a correlation, indeed, between Christopher's condition and the fact that he's black. <coughs> Kendall also targets NHS budget cuts and the need to release Christopher on those grounds, and he criticises the hierarchical system in which the junior doctor is at the mercy of his superior. However, good and bad is never as clear-cut as this may sound, and Christopher is by no means a victim of the system. Now you might ask yourself, why is the play called Blue Orange? Um, one of the few props that we can't see here, so you have to imagine it, is a bowl of actual oranges. And part of the problem is that Christopher thinks these oranges are in fact blue. Penhall's play is a skillful clash of the titans, titans that Penhall is very critical and very skeptical of. The pendulum swings from side to side and with ever increasing speed. As an audience, we're thrown into this and we cannot really make up our minds about the characters, how we feel about them, on whose side we are. It's a bit of a, a bit like a tennis match we, we, we saw earlier. Um, so really, the most the difficult challenge is really to figure out how you feel about the characters and also to figure out what is actually wrong with Christopher. Is he schizophrenic? Is he not? I am not going to spoil this. If you want to find out, uh, the Young Big Theatre currently stage is right, and I hear there are quite a number of very, very small tickets left, so if you want to go and see them, please do. Um, you might going to see a scene in which Bruce and Christopher discuss proceedings. Here, Penhall thematizes the link between terminology, labels, and stigma, and introduces the power play between the doctors when Robert enters the stage. You wanted to see me? Dr. Smith, yes, come in. Hi. How's tricks? I'm fine, how are you? I don't believe I've thanked you for that stupendous spread. Sorry? That sumptuous meal on Saturday, after the rugby, the food. Oh, thanks. Hang on to that woman, Bruce. <laughs> sure. You'll live to 103. But the, 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 the only woman I know with the audacity to pull off a fondue. I thought any minute now she'll be climbing into a cafe. <laughs> it was Welsh rabbit. Welsh rabbit, the very thing. It's not what you're used to. Oh, on the contrary! It was just the ticket. Miserable and wet. Vanquished by the frog and foot sore. <laughs> Still got the booze. I couldn't believe that score. Not from the frogs. Still, at least it wasn't Australia. Dr. Or New Zealand or any of the other hairy colonial <laughs> outposts. Dr. Smith. Welsh rabbit, eh? Took me back to my student days. Tie that woman to the nearest bed and inseminate her at once. Dr. Breed! Lots of little bruises. <laughs> Have you thought any more about that loft conversion? All the rage when I was a student. Quite the thing for somebody in your circumstances. Oh, That'll set you back a few quid. Still, when you become a consultant, that's where the big bucks are. The thing is... Hello. 
Oh, you remember Christopher? Chris, do you remember Dr. Smith? Senior consultant? Warning, warning, warning. Any life form approaching Will Robinson? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Very witty. Okay, look. Warning, warning. Do you know what I mean? Let's not get too distracted. Yeah, I'm distracting you. No, no. You I... Uh, I want you to... Well, well, of course, you asked me to. Do you know what I mean? I've asked Dr. Smith to sit in with us today. Yes, that's right. I just got myself a nice cup of coffee. I'll just lurk in the corner. Coffee! You won't know I'm here. He's got coffee. There's plenty of water in the... Wow! That's not for you. Oh, come on, man. It's coffee. Chris. Chris. Oh, excuse me. Look, I want a cup of coffee. Christopher, hey, listen. Look, that's listen. not yours. Come Is on. that yours or isn't it? Come on, man. Chris, come on. What's the rule on coffee? No coke, no coffee. I'm sorry, you know why. Why? You know why. Yeah, but I'll get out tomorrow. I'm getting out. I think your man has a point. Sorry, I'm disturbing you. Oh, you a cigarette? No, please, really. Uh, give me a cigarette, dog. I, I, just one. I'm gagging for a puff, do you know what I mean?
And nobody looking at me funny like they've never seen a brother before except from fucking Sesame Street. I'm going far away. What's he looking at? Look at you. Nervous as a tomcat with big balls. What do you think I'm going to eat? I might do just to see the look on your face. No one's looking at you funny. Chris. He is! Well, are you surprised? What? Are you surprised? Look at yourself. Could you, could you just sit down? Relax, would you? Of course people stare at you when you act like this. You know that. You know what it's like. Overburdened nervous system. Can't look me in the eye. Thinks we're staring at him? We are. <laughs> I'm gone. Oh yeah, believe. A place with the desert. And beaches. And palm trees. Somewhere hot. Do you know what I mean? Chris, would you mind waiting in the room for two minutes? What, what, what did I say? Nothing at all. We just need to consult. That's right. That's why the badge says consultant. I'm not wearing it. <laughs> look, look, please. I'd really appreciate it. Just, just go through that door. Okay. I hope you're only doing it. What do you mean? I hope you're not going to let him talk you into anything. Good God, no. No, 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 no. I hope, I hope you're... You're not changing your mind on me because my, my 28... My, Chris, my, my 28 days I know. Up, my, my 28 days is up. It's up. You've had your fun. I'm gone. Believe. Uh, okay. Thank you. Do you think he knows? What's there to know? He's a section two. His 28 days are up. He's responded to treatment and now he's going home. Am I right? <laughs> but, but what? Well, I mean, you know what I'm going to ask you, don't you? What? I want a section three. Take a deep breath and forget you even thought of it. But Let him out. You're doing the right thing. But I'm not. Yes, this is right. You are doing what is fair and right and just and textbook medically beneficial. And apart from anything else, we don't have the beds. <laughs>